I just concluded with the person to replace the group. Tell it. Tell it. <coughs> I don't understand, Your Highness. Hello. Your Highness. That's your boy, Benji. Hi. He's fantastic. <laughs> He's a wonderful cook. I just thank God that God used you to bring that boy to this family. I'm happy. Your Highness. He's a good cook. I'm very happy to hear this, my king. I'm so glad I can help. Um, in that case, I will tell the new cook not to resume. What are you waiting for? <laughs> This one is very, very good. Uh, ah, Benji <laughs> is good to go. So Benji can satisfy your dish. Uh, <laughs> your Highness. <laughs> your Highness. <laughs> Drink some more. Uh, Make yourself happy and happy too. I know you like smoke so much. Hope you have not been smoking in that palace. No, hey. If I smoke for that palace, you will cast me. <laughs> I'm even thinking on quitting smoke entirely. It will make sense if you quit too. It's a good fucking sense. So you know we enter trouble for that palace. That palace is palace of trouble already. Forget to. It's not all that well in the palace. So. That place is a mini hell. In fact, it's unconducive. Ah, is this a joke or what? I'm not joking. In fact, sometimes I think of quitting that job. And to quit the hungry me. There's something wrong with you, Benjamin. There is something wrong with you. How? Are you sure you're normal? How can you be thinking of quitting a fantastic job you have there? Do you know how many people that is willing, that is praying to shine the king's shoe? Not to talk of cooking for him. Hear me out before judging me. The king is not my problem. Lol, is not my problem. The problem is Yugwe's daughters, the princesses. What's up with them? What happened? They are mad dogs. Mad dogs? Princesses. They are mean, they are heartless, they are stubborn, they are wicked. Once you don't have value, they don't regard you. Once you're not royalty, you're not rich, you're not famous, you're not bringing anything to the table. Once you're a commoner, they hate you. They will keep treating you like trash, except for their baby sister, the last princess. And kind of mother. Hey, what you do, you, you, you try and become friends with them. I just find a way. You know, are you now. deaf? I said these people are wicked people. They treat me like trash. They are asking me to become friends with them. How? You said they are last born. Yes, that one is true. She's close to you, right? Mm. She plays with you. Use her and get the rest. Are you saying I should enter that family? Benji, you're not street now. You go not those girls' streets. Every street you grow. I'll be walking the door at the for palace. Enter them through that girl. You know what's up now. Okay, enter that family. Run them. My royal family. Zero them. Nothing come out. My royal family. Nothing come out. You go run them where? The Nga man, the one man. The Nga, yeah, the Nga ka buka ha, royal Nga. No, he got banga. <laughs> I hope so. Bring a bit of something, may I drink now? Small, small. Hey, no, go high, enter that palace. How my daughters were busy stepping on your toes. And I was told what you have passed through in their hands. My dear, I am very sorry about that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Your Highness, Good. you don't need to apologize. 
If Urenna, my daughter, did not tell me about this, I wouldn't have known. Honestly speaking, so I'm sorry. I really have to. Don't say I should not apologize. I have to. Because it is unfair. Sir? I have to apologize to you. You know why? It is unfair. I didn't train my daughters that way. And I don't expect them to behave that way. You see this palace? This palace. I preach love and tolerance to my children. Okay? They won't harass you again. Thank you, Your Highness. It's okay. Uh, you are welcome any day. Hmm? You are welcome any day. Just go. Go for now. Nobody will harass you again. Hmm? Thank you, Your Highness. in the kitchen. So go in there and clear all the mess. Did you hear me? Excuse me, ma'am. I said go in there and clear all the mess. Death monkey. Okay, I don't want to repeat myself. Right, your majesty. Eleven times you are eating today. Is today your birthday? Come, give me food, dear. I'm hungry, Biko. I'm tired of feeding you. Baby, come and give me food now. There is no food. Is it your birthday? Let me say two times. What? What? Go and Biko. Eleven. This is the eleventh one. I have a book in that phone. Baby, come and give me food. Don't come and give me food, Baby. If you chop his foot, if you if I met the Royan of if I see Ben Lisa Lacha Fella, if Benji di Palace cook. Yo, you really need to take it easy on that cook. It's going to give you high blood pressure. Mm. He can try it. Who is he? <laughs> They know born and well. Mm -hmm. eh? I hate that guy so much. I hate him. There is something about him that I hate so much. I hate him too. <gasps> I just can't place it. Girl, I have a special hatred for this guy. But what can I do? He's still our cook. We have no choice than to tolerate his annoying character. Ah, Gosh. that's what we've been doing. Picking all sorts of things. And do you know the one that pays me the most? The way father and mother praises him. And his English and stupid way he speaks, you know, carrying himself like he's the best chef and all. I hate him so much. Do you know it surprises me? It surprises me how, how, how our parents tolerate this idiot. I mean, I can't. That guy irritates me. I hate him. He should just go. I can't wait. Oh. I can't wait to wake up one morning and they say, Oh, Ungazika, the cook is leaving. I'll be like, Oh my God. I don't even want to wake up and see him. I hate him. Please, please, please. He needs to go. Not even that he's giving us healthy meal. Huh? But what can we do? We just have to manage him. What did you just say? You go, you know, say I know the top of the I know see with my cook. You guys see this one, I see secrets for that, for that bag. This is unbelievable and unacceptable by me. Nobody tries that in this palace. Nobody indulges in that kind of nonsense in this palace. Hey boy, you will calm down, calm down, sir. Don't say it would be unacceptable. Go and get me one of the guards. Immediately. Okay, okay my king. But, my king, if not to match that man down, me personally will match him down. I don't need guard. Come on, shut up and go and get me a guard. I don't need God. <laughs> 
That guy too. I said. For my <laughs> guy then. Can you imagine? Secret in my palace. So you smoke. Excuse me. How dare you? I don't smoke, sir. There is anyone that smoke here. Is this the sir? Eh? Okay, you did lie, you. No, be I see, I see cigar for you for your bag. You see cigar for my bag. Eh? Uh -huh. Your highness, let me tell you the truth. I saw this balloon smoking. I was like, why are you smoking at your age? You should be in school. He said no. That this smoke is what he uses in reducing his weight as recommended by the doctor. I was like, okay. If that's what the doctor said he should be taking. No problem. He smokes. I swear. I'm not joking, sir. He smokes. Lions. Lions. Why are you lying in front of the king? I said the king. <coughs> Shut up. I should be deaf. If I ask my guard to search your bag now and he finds anything incriminating, any smoke inside that bag, better say the truth and nothing but the truth. I will have no other option but to remind you immediately at the correctional center. Your Highness, there is nothing to correct here. I don't smoke. I don't even like it. I'm allergic to it. I swear, I've caught him smoking. Let me now tell you this, sir. Even the elder, Brother of secret, he smokes it. What? I'm talking to you, sir. Are you talking of Ibo? Yes, sir. In fact, I am so focused to search his Come. bag. Search his bag. This is your bag. This is your bag. Yes. It is better you say the truth now. If you take me through this pains, I will deal with you. I'm allergic to secrets, sir. Search that bag thoroughly. You see, sir. So why are you accusing somebody for spoon? Why are you saying what you, do, in that bag. what you do not know? I know what I'm saying. What kind of thing is this? I am very sure what I'm saying. Let me bring that out to see that. You know you're asking my question. Will you drop that bag? Drop it. Search Obelis bag. If you don't remember, now now you know where you keep up. You need to why see that? Okay. Don't do this. This was even the other one. I was telling you, someone like major. I know I picked him from the street, but I don't want to believe you for now. Okay, Let okay, the bag no, 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 Abele, what is this? Make you let me get that cigar. I am disappointed in you. A little rat like you at this stage. You want to use cigarette to reduce your weight. Which doctor prescribed this to you? My kid, no be me get Come on! Will you shut up if I do with you? Shut up! I said shut up! you were different from the rest of the children that wandered the streets. How could I have known that the, 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 the street damaged you this bad? You are rotten! My queen, I, I swear, no me get that cigar, no me get that cigar. I'm not that brother do I, no me get that cigar. Will you shut up? Shut it! That your brother you just mentioned here now, was he here when you passed that message no. to me? Was he? No, my king. But if he here, I'm so well. No, 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 no. So how do you want me to believe that he just transferred a cigarette into your bag? Eh? You are a total disappointment to what I believe. Mm. And if you don't take your time, I will take you back to the street. Mm, I'm sorry, my king. You should be sorry for yourself. I'm sorry, my king. Without your bloated cheeks. The only reason 
I have not handed you over to the police is because of the way I met you. I picked you from the street. And I promised myself that I'm going to take care of you. My dear, I understand that you know where that boy is coming from. From the street. So what do you expect? What do you expect from a boy that has no parents? What? Yes, he lost total parenthood. What do you expect? I would rather advise. Tolerate that boy with everything you have. I'm thinking of sending him to a very good school. Soon, but for now, tolerate him. So what do we do now with him? Say he does not have parents. Uh, you can call him an errand boy for now. But I'm thinking of a better school to put him. Better? Exactly what I'm thinking. Not any errand boy, anything. He's a little boy, but that boy is wild. We can't continue to live with him in this palace. Have you ever seen him talk? The way he runs his mouth? Thousand words per minute? <laughs> Come on! On the contrary, that is exactly why I like that boy. What? His boldness. My dear, that boy can be helped. But all the same, I'm thinking, I must put that boy in one of the best schools. Better. Yes, better. So that he will have some transformation or reformatory. That boy is something else. I will do it. What do you eat? I'm thinking of getting Whatever. Started. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Come on, stop please! Stop please! Again, that he's not my mate. Where is that coming from? Like, who the hell is this idiot? Hey, Where did you get him from? Dad, this church rat here, the other day was asking me out. Hey. Can you imagine the disrespect? You don't know your age, mate. Hey, Father, do you know that I gave my clothes to this boy? He messed it up and returned it like that, without no remorse for. Father, I sent him to buy something for me. He ate the money without giving me nothing. This boy. Don't you! Stop it! Stop it! Are you mad? No! Are you stupid? Come. Come. See this. Huh? 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 See, don't allow me to vet my anger on you now. Can somebody keep quiet here? Obele. Sir? Are you guilty of all these accusations? I did not do anything! No. They just want to kill me for no reason. Did I ask you out? Can 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 you shut up? Hey, God. I will kill you in this house. Shut up. It's okay, it's okay. I will handle him. We will not have him lie against us here. I will kill him right now. He should, he should not even try to lie on us. I would like all of you to listen to me. Learn how to tolerate this boy. Huh? You all know where I picked him from. From the streets. Moreover, it is not easy for one to lose both parents at the same time. It's not easy. He's an orphan. He is not the first or the last orphan in the world. So you better respect himself. Will you shut your mouth or I vet my anger on you now? 
Shut up. Give me that cake. Give me that cake. That's not true. He's been so disrespectful in the palace. We want to dispose him. Yes, Your Highness. This boy has been sorting us and causing trouble in this palace all the time. Please shut up. Shut up. Shut up, my Shut your trap. Highness. He's been so disrespectful, Your Highness. Sorting everybody in the palace. What madness was that? Eh? He has been causing problems. And you didn't deem it wise to report to me. You want to take laws into your hands. Sorry, Your Highness. Sorry for yourself. Now listen to me, both of you. Whenever this boy commits anything, Report to me directly. I was the one that brought him here. You don't take laws into your hands. If I do what I will regret. We're sorry. We're sorry, Your Highness. I don't want this rubbish any longer. We're sorry, my king. And you, how many times have I warned you? Not to disrespect your seniors. But no! This madness must continue. Listen and listen, Rico. Come. If I dare. Receive any report about you again, I will punish you severely. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Now get out. You know where I picked him? From the street. Let it be my worry. Don't take clothes into your hands. You don't have to punish him by yourself without my approval. Take this in and get out of my sight. He ended it with this I know how many times you've given me reason to throw you out of this palace. But I tolerated your excesses because you're an orphan. No, I'm sorry, my king. I'm sorry, my, my king. Will you shut up? But my king, that, that's the only way you get another brother. I don't know how this guy did fly into my back. Will you shut up? You are going back to the school immediately. And that is my final decision. Did you get that? My king. Look at this boy. So you didn't have the guts to object to this. You know what? I would have preferred you thrown back into the streets where you rightly belong. But for the sake of God and my husband, I will agree to the decision to give you a second chance. But if you mess this one chance up again, your life will end right before your eyes. Get her out. Just Get out of my presence as you sit there. Get out. Look at you, my loon. Chimpanzee. Robot. And you are still talking. What are you doing with this boy? Just like that? Wow, crazy things are really happening. Honestly, crazy things are really happening. You can't be serious, are you? Will you stop there? What the hell are you doing here? How dare you? Get out! Shadow, oh, no. please. I just want to tell you I said I don't decommote. You don't decommote? <laughs> Commotes go away. I don't decommote from this planet to go school. It's actually your audacity for me. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Okay, because you are going to only God knows where. That was why you had the nerves to walk into our room. To barge into my room, what about that? That blocking. Like, what's giving you that? What's giving you that mind? Okay, because you're going to school, we should start crying. Okay, girls, let's start crying. Okay, it's going back to school. <laughs> Come back here. Let me ask you a simple question and I need a direct answer. How old are you? Hey, what did you say? So you're talking to my sister like this? Hey, you did not catch you. You're not saying that you did not catch this. How? This virus 
going with you. Hey! Can you imagine? I blame father. I blame him. Like my brother, you had the old. Have you had the bad in letters, palace, cuckoo? His name is Benji. Benji the cuckoo dia. He's calling there for kitchen and pot. Hey, my brother, have you had the old? Have you had the bad in letters, palace, cuckoo? Who uh, uh. they go now? If it is a good sense. You think say so you get sense? Now you get no sense, you get you know, you can like Who is going now? No wala. You don't win. You don't win at No wala. You no say at the coming event. I'll call you my dear Mary. I don't win. But what's your head event? You no get fear. You no get respect. Joy. As you small rich, you go report me to Igwe. You want me to lose my job. Now, who is leaving the palace? Eh? No, I go call me vet and you go suffer for this palace. If you reach that school, focus on your studies so that you can be useful to yourself. No man is sack me for me. No one sack me as you small rich. So, small plot in life is okay. Try to be useful to yourself. I'm not saying you need to be very useful to society. Because if I say try and be useful to the society, that was a long time. It's not possible. So try and be useful to yourself. First thing first. Yeah. What are you doing here? I'm with the act. Then go! Come, let's go. You're not going to revenge anything. I'm not going to suffer. I'm not going to suffer. I'm not going to suffer. Bye-bye. If you reach, focus on your studies. Try and be useful to yourself. No, no, I don't push me. You're not going to come back anywhere. Be useful to yourself. I know you can never be useful to the society. So that one, a long story. Try to be useful to yourself. First, first thing first, leave society. Bolum, bolum. You want to suck your papa. Yala. I am surprised. Where did you get the information from? Where we got the information and how? do not matter right now. We're here to find out the authenticity of that statement. Is it true? Father, is it true you want to take another life? Lies. Calculated lies from the pit of hell. I would like to know who told you this. Because such person wants to bring total disunity in my family. He wants to tear my family apart. Who told you this rubbish? Father, I hope you're telling us the truth. Because we will not be alive. I and my sisters will not be alive and watch another woman come into this palace as your second wife. Never. It will never happen. Father, Father, please. Even if you want to marry another wife, let her stay far away from this palace. Hmm? Urena, will you shut your mouth? Are you supporting Father to get another wife? Is that what you're trying to say? Ngozika. If you don't have anything to say, you better close your mouth. Can you imagine this girl? Ngozika, I didn't say so. Oh, shut up! Shut your dirty mouth up! If you don't have anything meaningful to say, shut it! Now listen to me, all of you. Your father, the king, is not stupid. I cannot take any decision in this family without putting all of you on the no. Have I done that before? Father. If you have started nursing the thoughts already, kids, because it is going to be over our dead body to let you bring in another woman in this palace. I promise you, for the life of us, we shall make this palace a living hell for well. Mama, will you shut up? Shut it! Shut it! I said I will do it without. Your notice, and that's final. My sisters, I believe I've spoken of mine. Yes. yes. But I said I will not do anything without making you people to be on the no. Is that supposed to be a threat? But no problem. We're just saying our mind. Are you with them on this? Father, please. Whatever decision you are making, don't hurt my mother. Oh, 
Urena. Do you know you deserve a knock on the nose for that nonsense you spilled out there? Do you know? Urena, I have told you time with that number to always shut up. If you don't have anything meaningful to say, always shut your dirty mouth up. Shut it! Why are you girls attacking me? Why? Huh? You know father is a king and he has every right to marry as many wives as he wants. What is all this? Wait a minute. You this mad woman. Are you supporting dad to get another wife? No. I am not saying that. What I am saying is that if the pressure becomes too much, he should get another wife that will stay outside this palace. That's what I'm saying. Never. Over my dead body would that happen. In our father, no, give me no, give. Close that your dirty mouth. Father will never marry any other woman aside from mother. Never. From today, I will send someone that will be monitoring his movements. No other woman is coming into this palace aside from my mother. No other woman is coming here to break her heart. Never. I will not stand to watch it happen. And listen to me, you better go and tell you, as the Adda of this family and the princess of this kingdom, the first princess of this kingdom, I will never ever support father to get another woman. Never. And if he dares me, if he tries it, hmm? please girls, huh? you people should take it easy, please. Oh, I see, this girl is stupid. Who right now? I feel you have overstayed your welcome. And now, leave. If you don't leave here now, I will beat you like a child that you are. I should leave. Just get out. Oh, Rena, why is it that you don't have common sense? They said common sense is not common, but that common, you don't even have it. You don't have common sense. Take that your gutter mat out of this place. Get out! So you are sending me out simply because I am finding solution for this, right? It's fine. I am leaving. Who died and made you a solution bringer? No, when, when did you start settling matters? Listen, you have to change whoever you are buying, whatever you are taking from. Because it's beginning to affect your brain. You are brainless. Get out. Now, change your dinner. leave this place okay. now. It's fine. Leave. It's okay. It's fine. I'm leaving. Come on. Get out. She wants to be the one that, oh, this is father's best. This is a nice person. No, sometimes I wonder whether we are from this. We are actually from the same mom. Maybe we should ask more than Maybe she's adopted. Mr. Benjamin, how are you doing? I'm fine, Your Majesty. Sorry. I'm fine now. Doxology. Doxology? Mm -hmm. What's that? Is that not the latest way of greeting? Or better still, the modern way? <laughs> that is high the classy type. High the classy type? Anna. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I'm laughing at you. Zero, why are you laughing? Zero. It's wrong. What's, what's the sonology? The sonology is not high, the classic type. <laughs> you are very funny. Um, so, what are you preparing today? I want to prepare the sour soup. White soup. And trust me, you will love it. Ufin Sala? Yes. Oh my goodness. I love Ufin Sala. In fact, it's my favorite. <laughs> I love it. But the problem now is that oh, I don't know how to cook it. You don't know how to cook it? I don't know how to cook it. And I would like to learn from you. Okay. Just hang around. Watch me cook. You will learn. Are you not done? I'm not done. I'm just starting. Okay. Um. Doc, so much. Okay, say it's wrong. Sorry. Dosology. It's wrong. Where did you learn that from? You're welcome. 
Mr. Benjamin. Mm. I think it's high time I started teaching you what to use in ending your sentences and what not to use. So, are you ready to learn? Of course, I'm ready to learn. Okay. Um, dosology is not a way of writing. Excuse me? Dosology. It's not a way of greeting. So it's not greeting? No! I don't know where you learn it from. Okay. So, you can say, when you say, no problem, you say, you're welcome. Do you understand? You just say, you're welcome, not no problem. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ah. You don't have to Thank squeeze you your much. mouth like that. You're yes. shifting your mouth one side. I want to sound like you. You're well, welcome. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, my dear. Um, don't worry. Let me help you. Mm. Are you sure? Of course. Oh my God. <laughs> my name is Benji. Benji. Benji the cook This girl in the for kitchen and pot. Try if you chop his food. I food to my wife. Funny, funny man. What? Where did they hear such from? You could imagine my surprise when I was told that. And the funny aspect of it, they find it difficult to believe that I cannot do such. I am sure the elders have been discussing with the villagers lately. Ha! Huh. I knew a day like this would come. I've always known it. That a day as frightful as this day will come. But you know my position to this. Oh jeez. Nothing will make me marry another woman outside you. Never. My love, heir to the throne is sacrosanct. You need an heir to the throne. But you know it's not possible. How can I do that without getting another wife? I'm not ready for that. Never. My love, come. You know I love you so much. I appreciate the love you have for me and the children. But don't deprive your lineage, reality, all because of me. I'm in support of you getting a son, 100%. But we have discussed this thing severally. And you know my position to wait. If the gods cannot give me a son through you, then let me be the last king in my lineage. Let me die. I love you. I love you too. No, mother. There is no way we will allow that to happen. Yes. No, why we're still alive. Can you calm down? Are we fighting already? Mm -hmm. Mother, can you stop asking us to calm down? What are you saying? Are you indirectly supporting father to get another wife? Just because he wants a male child? Is that it? It's not right. Why is the tradition so unfair that women can't succeed their father's throne? It's so backward, mom. But that's a tradition. And that is fine now. To hell with the tradition, mom. To hell! There is no way that will happen. Wait, 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 mother. Are you supporting this? What other choice do you want me to have? Hmm? You girls have no idea. Honestly speaking, you have no idea the kind of pressure that is being mounted on your father on daily basis. If the owner who does not come to talk, the council of elders will send, the village people will send. Come on. Mom. Forget about the pressure. Yes, I don't care about the pressure. All I know is that there is no way we will be alive and allow dad bring in another woman in this palace. It will never happen. Never. And that is final. Well, I just wanted to inform you girls 
but your father has not made any decision yet on this matter. So we are still safe. You are still safe in the interim. But I wouldn't want you people to go meet him with this discussion without telling me first. Is that clear? Can I make myself clear? Mother, listen. One thing you should understand is that there is no way we'll sit and fold our hands. Watch things go wrong in this palace without doing anything. No way! And mom, please, whosoever that is telling father to get another wife, should also tell him that we are not in support of it. We are not in support of it, honestly. And mom, please, you have to stand the ground that your husband is not taking another wife. That's the truth. If not, it's going to be disastrous. There will be a problem in this palace. I'm serious. You cannot stand it. Just for those moments, you can't. I just bring in another woman inside this house. Mom, we can't. Feeding us today? Huh? I'm sorry, Roman. You're sorry. I'm hungry. Go and get me food. Lorena, what are you doing? Come back here! Please What are you doing with this low life? <laughs> Ola, nothing. I am just entertaining myself with his dancing steps. You call that imbecile display an entertainment? Ola! Oh, shut up! Rubbish. Your Highness, you know I love you like a brother and best friend. And there is nothing I will not do for you. I am ready to support you till the end of time. But the issue of getting a successor, Your Highness, I stand with the Council of Elders. Mm. Oh no. So you've been the one inciting their demands. Your Highness, I'm sure the King Mekas swore to see this land prosper. How can this kingdom prosper without having an heir to the throne? I don't care. Let me be the last king of our lineage. God forbid that, my king. Please, don't say such. Why not? Why wouldn't I say such? Onovu, if you are with me as you claim to be, you would have abided by my decision and flow with me. But no, I don't care anymore. Your Highness, how can you ask me to stand by you in making a decision that will hurt this throne and this generation? Please, get an heir to the throne. Now I know where you belong. I know will leave my house. Your Highness, I am your Onogu, which makes your interest my priority. Please, don't harden your heart. I beg you, my king. Please. Onogu, my interest is never your priority. Now I know where you stand. Thank you so much.
Um, my queen, you know I will never intentionally do anything to hurt you. Oh no, I know, I understand. And I don't blame you for this at all. Thanks for your understanding, my queen. I know. You know, in this issue of my husband taking a second wife, I have been talking to him. But he has vehemently refused to listen to me. And as a woman, you know, this is a very hard decision for me to take. But I know the right thing. And on that, I stand. That must be done. My queen, the elders and some of our people believe you are the one behind this blatant refusal to get another wife. What? Me? How? Anyway, I am happy we are having this discussion. This will go a long way to vindicate me. Please try and tell the people the truth. Tell the King Makas the truth. I am not a bad person, and I can never be. You know my husband. He is a nice and easygoing man. But this second wife issue, I have been trying to talk to him. He has refused to understand how he can go into that. And he's been stubborn about it. How is that my fault? He thinks I'm against him by standing with the elders. But it is what is expected for me to do. God knows I have no evil intention towards him. I don't blame him. I don't blame you either. I blame my chi. They refused to bless me with a male child. I did everything I was asked to do. To drink, to do, to everything. I refuse to yield the result. Why is that my fault that I have a male child? It's not your fault, my queen. I know the story very well. Mother Aborochi Beya, we are powerless to the will of God. Please stop crying. Stop crying. It shall be well. Stop crying. I have washed your camera. Good. Thank you. Um, I'm here to apologize to you for being rude. I'm sorry. My princess, there is no need to apologize. So no problem. I have I, I, forgiven you. Thank you. Um, ben. Excuse me. Ben? Benji is my name. No. Benji. I prefer to call you Ben. It sounds more sexy. Yes. Um, <clears throat> ben, has anyone told you you're handsome? Ma? Has anyone told you that you're handsome? No, Ma. Really? You mean to say no one has ever mentioned it to you before? I said no, ma. I mean no, 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 ma. I don't know. Calm down. Why are you being rude to me? I just, I just want us to be friends. I like you. I cannot be your friend. I, I, I am your employee. N no, that, that is not the right word, employee. Which one is the correct one? Employer. Now you, now you employ me. You're my employer. No, I did not employ you. Um, my dad employed you. But that does not mean we cannot be friends. I like you. Huh? Okay. Give me time. Let me think about it. For now, can I go and prepare the okwa with fish? Your Highness asked me to prepare. Okay. But can I come with you? I, I would love to help you. It is not your job, ma. Don't worry. It doesn't matter. Sorry, ma. I can't. Please, thanks for coming. Go, ma. Hey, my brother, have you had the old? Have you had the bad 
Letters balas kukua. His name is Benji. Benji de kukudaya. Greetings, Your Majesty. That is not why I'm here. My friend, what are you making for dinner? I want to prepare... I will make bitter leaf soup. I will also make noodles. Hey! You will make bitter leaves and then you will make noodles. Yes, Your Majesty. Do you know how many calories that contains? A packet of noodles, do you know how many calories it contains? No, Your Majesty. How would you know? Who brought you here to destroy us? I ask you! Why am I even talking to you? Take a look at my father. His tummy is increasing day by day. All because all you give us in this house is cabs! From one cab to another! Eh? Benjamin! Your Majesty. I know that this bitter leave you want to serve us. You want to serve it with Fufu? Operia? Yes, Your Majesty. You see? You see? You know nothing. You can't even make use of your brain. The small sense God gave you, you can use it. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're sorry for yourself. I don't even know why I'm here talking to a no no titi. It's yours. Ani okuyeri. Ani okuyeri. God's time is the best. 